started uh, to our press conference for the 4A Boys Basketball Championship, which will be this Friday night. Uh, proud to have here this morning uh, Gaffney High School with a record of 22-5, Lexington High School with a record of 24 and 5. I'd like to recognize some of their administrators here at uh, Gaffney High School, Principal Marlene Davis. Is Marlene here? Okay. Athletic Director Mark Cup, also the coach for Lexington High School. Is Melissa Rawl here? Very good principal of Lexington High School, Athletic Director Scott Early, and head, head coach Bailey Harris. Okay, Coach Harris, if you'll introduce your players, the staff, and Coach Huff yours, and then we'll take questions from the media. I have uh, Shaq Rowland, um, four year letterman for Lexington, and um, four year starter, and uh, Sam McDermott, uh, they're our co captains, and Sam was, uh, um, I was captain last year as well. And the assistant coach is Joey Reed. Yeah, I have me, senior Michael Wright, a wing player, sophomore LJ Peak, also a wing player, senior Quinshaw Davis, uh, plays in the post, and my assistant coach, Michael Wright. I mean, Michael Dalton. <laughs> Yes, for both coaches to start <clears throat> last uh, upper state lower state championship. Uh, pretty low scoring. You held the team since you were playing, I think, 36 on your side, 40, uh, 47, 48 on your side. So, do you expect a defensive game come Friday night, uh, or just maybe par for the course of how you were playing and the teams you were playing against? Well, I hope defensively we will play well. Uh, when you get to this point, of course, both teams are awfully good. You get here. And Offensively, I know they can put a lot of points on the board, so uh, we're going to have to play well. We're going to have to uh, defend and, and rebound, uh, try to do our best to limit them to one shot if possible. Uh, I feel like we've, we've done a decent job this year defensively, so hopefully we'll do it one more time. It's hard to say in the case of our lower state game. It was just it was a strange game. It was not a low possession game. It was an extremely low scoring game. Um, but it was just an, an odd game with a lot of turnovers, a lot of whistles, and uh, neither team really got in the flow. Um, you know, us or Aiken. So it, it's really kind of hard to say. But you know, if you look at Gaffney over the year, um, I don't think anybody slowed them down a whole lot. Uh, we hope to hope to be able to get in the way a little bit. Question for Quinshot. Uh, obviously, you know, Sydney Rice was a great, uh, you know, you know, football player player and basketball player. You've been uh, compared to Sydney Rice a lot in both sports. Um, first of all, which sport do you prefer and how important is it to win this game Friday night uh, for your team and community? Well, I would, I would prefer football over basketball. But uh, it's important for me because uh, this is my senior year and I lost the football so I want to go out and I was going to ask about any kind of board being practiced. I was going to you guys are very disappointed in the football season. Yeah. It was your last thing. So is it, is it still a body behind you in that defending track as well? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I still say that they're coming out supporting them pretty good lately. And most of you, everybody will be down there by themselves. Question for the Lexington players. Two years ago, you faced this Gaffney team. A lot of you guys were on that team, uh, not just you guys, but the whole senior class. Um, talk a little about that factor playing them two years ago and what y'all have talked about going into this. I mean, um, I, my sophomore year, that was, that was tough to lost for us, you know. Um, I think we'll take that as motivation to come to the game Friday. Um, and we just want to work hard, and I think we'll come out with it. Coach up this uh, excuse me this stretch run that y'all made uh, beating Irmo beating uh, Dorman um, how much of a role has Michael played in that uh, he's hit a lot of free throws hit some big three pointers so just how big of a role has he played in getting you to this point right now. Well, all three of these guys played in the state championship two years ago. That, that's one reason, reason we brought them down here. And we expected a lot of things out of each one of them. You know, Michael 
he's such a great team player. He doesn't want to be in the spotlight. And he understands what his role is. But here lately, he has stepped up and made some big shots for us, uh, hit some big free throws. Uh, he's he wanted to take a little bit more of a leadership role. Uh, but it's not like we went to him and, and told him to change his game any or do anything differently. It's just that he's played awfully well down the stretch, uh, as have all three of these guys. So uh, you know, we're hoping he continue to play well and shoot the ball well. And, uh, you know, then then we'll, we've been kind of teasing he, he can go to baseball next week, but he's also an outstanding baseball player. Coach Harris, you've used the fast starts uh, for most of this playoff, uh, minus the Aggie game a little bit. But uh, talk a little about getting off to a good start um, Friday night and how important that is. Uh, that's going to be important, obviously, to get off to a good start. But it, again, if, you, if you've watched Gaffney this year, you know, Elite's not, it's not like they're going to back away and, and go away if you get on them early. So I think it's going to be something that, you know, either team that wins is going to have to play hard for hard and smart for 32 minutes. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be any little spurt at the beginning of the game or the end. We've just been fortunate enough a uh, couple of those early playoff rounds and, and really our late season run to get off to some really good starts. Um, but uh, I think even if we do get off to a good start, that's you know, that's just a very small phase of what's going to take five. Coach Harris, are you surprised your team is in the finals or did you see this? I mean, I mean, every coach wants to be there. But when you looked at your team in November, the personnel you had back. Uh, well, what do you think had to happen for y'all to get to this point? And obviously, some of those things happened. Well, we were preseason number one, so I think a lot of people thought that was possible. But if, uh, if you were at the Coaches Association tip-off thing, I believe I made the comment that the teams that we saw over the summer that I felt like Gaffney was the number one team. So maybe maybe I was right and they were right in, in that respect. Um, but, but when I saw Gaffney this summer, I thought they were the best team in the state. The Coaches Association put us number one in the, in the preseason poll, which to me just means you got a chance. Um, but with nine seniors on this team and a team that had been to the Final Four the last three years, lost obviously to Gaffney two years ago in the state championship and they got beat in the lower state finals last year. But a lot of returners, including obviously Shaq as a key player, you know, obviously felt like we had a chance a chance to be here. And that was, you know, we, we put some goals on the board at the beginning of the season. And certainly March 2nd was, uh, was one of those goals. Yes, for the Gaffney players, um, all your losses were early, except for the Spartanburg game at the end of the regular season. So, um, just how much confidence did this team build over the course of the year? You know, getting get the region title, going into the playoffs, and now getting some state championship. Well, I mean, getting Quinshot back, you know, good football, we perform more vocal leaders, and just all the capabilities that he brings to the team, and uh, all the hustle that he brings. And He's a good player. I mean, on and off the court, he's a great teammate, and he's coming back. He's a big asset to it. Bailey and Mark, you know the adjustments you make. Oh, so many of your players in all-star football games in the center Bailey, and I talked about this earlier. I think uh, you know you. You know, lost five games. I'm assuming you lost those games mainly in December, probably in, in I mean, Mark. Uh, you know, then you get your football players back from all star games and, and, and can you can you uh, jelly. What are the adjustments that you have to make in December, you know, for the you know, kids to make the all star football teams? Well, Is it a hard thing to coach around sometimes? Well, I, I knew 15 years ago when I came to Gaffney that it was a football school. And it still is a football school. And I knew we'd have to wait on football players every year. So it's really something I've kind of gotten used to. Would I like to have them from day one? Absolutely. But uh, there's times I wonder if football coaches really realize how it would be to go through all of fall football camp with half your team and then play a game with half your team and then all of a sudden have 30 or 40 more come out there. And that's basically what we did this year. We went from November 1st to whatever day we started. Through the first week of the game, we played two games with seven players. So you just play with what you got. And I believe down the stretch, it will benefit those kids. And Ken and Little John and uh, 
P. Smith and the P. Hardy, those kids that were starters in those first two games until we got the football players out there. And two or three of those star parts, Kobe and Quinshot and uh, Terry Williams. And then they just it just takes a little while to try to, you know, get get your role accepted and who's coming off the bench at what time and what all that type of stuff. But you know, it's just something that we have to deal with every year. At least I at least we do it gas because I know for the first two weeks, we're not going to have it. Ours was a little different this year. Um, I think Shaq's junior year, we played our first four or five games before football was done and, and really expected to be in that same boat this year. And then football had the you know, upset loss early. So we got everybody. And then Jalen Cook, who's one of our, our key guys, was injured. So he missed several games. And then, it, then instead of just waiting on the late, you know, I know Prashad and, and Shaq both played in the Shrine Bowl game together, but we had one in the North-South game and then one in the Shrine Bowl. And then um, also Shaq went and played in the um, Under Armour game. So three different weeks we're missing parts. And then, you know, you come back healthy or not healthy. And uh, Shaq had to even miss one of the games from the beach ball left. You know, we go down, uh, got some gaps from both down there. And he left from the beach ball to go to the Under Armour game and got back the day of our first region game. And um, Shaq probably makes the adjustment easier than the rest of our team does, but you've got to get used to playing with them. It's not just him getting used to playing basketball, it's the other guys getting used to playing with them. Now, I I'll agree with what, what uh, Mark said. It benefits some of your other players that get a start early or have different roles on your team before those guys out there. It probably helps you long term, but it, it takes a little while to get your chemistry back. And if you look, I think both of our seasons were fairly similar in that regard. Both of us, you know, tough schedule, it, you know, went to beach ball and, and both of us went one and two at beach ball. And, and, and really we're just starting to get our, our team together and practicing together at that point. Question for LJP. Uh, you seem very comfortable with the ball in your hands. I know 6'4", you make the more growing. Do you see yourself as a more of a true point guard going forward, or the type of game you play, or inside? No, sir, I see myself as a wing. Good luck. <laughs> I see. I see. He came for the barbecue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Thank you. This concludes.